Hello everybody, this is Ace and welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to be doing a tutorial, I know, I don't normally do that that much. But basically what we're going to be doing is I'm going to show you how to set up a Minecraft server on Java Edition using Curse Forge. Let's get into it. Alright, so first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download Forge. If you don't have it downloaded, I got a link down in the description where you can go download it. Now you're going to go to Minecraft Java Edition. And you're going to go to Browse Mod Packs. If this is already a mod pack that you have, you're going to go to My Mod Packs. If this is a mod pack that you do not have, go to Browse Mod Packs. Anyways, this is a mod pack that I already have. We are going to be doing Better Minecraft Fabric Edition for 1.17.1. Now, I don't know if it's going to work for every single Minecraft mod pack, but I know it does work for this one. So what you're going to do is you're going to go here, and it's going to say Download Server Pack. You're going to click that, and it should take you to a link right here where it's going to download better minecraft dot zip what you're going to do is you're going to wait for that to download and you're going to drag it to your desktop all right and once it is done downloading you can go ahead and drag it to your desktop now what you're going to do is it's going to be a zip folder so you're going to right click on it and extract all extract it to your desktop now this could take anywhere from five seconds to ten minutes for me it took about 15 20 seconds all right, and once you're done, you're going to open it up, and it should show you a bunch of things. Config, kubijis, I don't know how to say that. Mods, fabric installer, readme, and so on and so forth. Now, what you're going to need to focus on is the fabric installer. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and double-click that, or run it as administrator. And it should show you into this. Basically, you're going to see two things in the top left of this. You're going to see client and server. What you're going to need to do is click on server, because we're setting up a server. Make sure that this is on the Minecraft version that you want to. For us, it's going to be 1.17.1. For you, it could be anything else. It could be 1.7, which is also what I like to play on too. You're going to click, make sure that it's on the latest version of the loader, which for me is 11.7, 0.11.7. Here is the select install location. For me, I currently have three drives. I have an SSD and two hard drives. So what I'm going to do is you're gonna click these three dots if you want to move it. If you don't wanna move it, go ahead and leave it how it is. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this PC, click on my NPC drive, which is this hard drive right here, and you're going to go ahead and make a new folder. Now, I'm going to go ahead and call it the Minecraft server for 1.17.1. I put Minecraft. I put Minecraft fat. I don't know. Let's fix that. And you're going to click open and it should show it right here in the select install. Now what you're going to do is you're ready to install. So click the install button. It should generate server launch and all this. Now what you're going to need to do is click download server jar, wait for it to finish downloading and click generate. And when it says, are you sure you want to override the existing launch scripts? Click yes. All right. And it should be done. Now all you got to do is click on done and close out of the installer. Now we're going to go ahead and go to the drive that I installed on, and as you can see right here, it's right here. So what we're going to go to do for ease, so what we're going to do for ease of access is we're going to go ahead and create a shortcut. Now what you can do is drag that to your desktop. Now your desktop is your C drive. If you have more drives and you set it as a shortcut, it will still be on that drive, but you can access it through your desktop. All right. Now this part is if you've added any extra mods to your normal installation, which I have. You're going to go to Curse Forge, click on these three dots, and click Open Folder. This should open a directory that your normal game is installed in. You're going to go ahead and go to Mods, and you can put this on the side of your screen for now. Now we're going to open up that shortcut folder that we just had, and put it right here. Now. In a second, we're going to copy all of these mods to our mod folder, but what we got to do first is open the original Better Minecraft folder where you installed it originally. So you got the folder that you installed over here and the one that you unzipped earlier. Now, what you're going to need to do is you're going to press Control and you're going to right click on Start, Server Icon, Server Properties, Fabric Installer, Mods, that one, Config, and if you're on Linux, you can go ahead and do dot .start. Dot sh now what you're going to do is you're going to drag these over to the other folder that you just created and it's going to say this destination has two files or more with the same name click replace these files in the destination and then you can go ahead and close out of this all right as you can see right here what we need to do now is click fabric server launch you can go ahead and double click that 
and this is not going to launch the folder yet because it's just going to initialize everything. Also, if you get a error that says um, server could not launch, all that you have to do is go and install Java 16 or newer. Now you're going to give it a little bit and wait until you see a little thing that says EULA. This could take anywhere from 30 seconds to 5 minutes. Basically what it is doing is it is adding all of these folders that you're going to need for the server. And as you can see, right now we have EULA. So what you're going to do is you're going to double click on EULA and it should say EULA-false. If you agree to the EULA, go ahead and delete false and put true in all lowercase. And then you can exit and save. Now, here comes the fun part. So you're going to open up that folder that we just had earlier, our mods folder. You're going to go to the mods folder in the server. Now, instead of going through and deleting all of the duplicate mods, because if you just straight up add it to this, it's going to have a bunch of duplicate mods and you're not going to be able to launch the server. You're going to click Control A. This is not in your normal mods folder. You have to do this in the server. And you're going to go ahead and delete all of those mods. If this shows up, all you got to do is click Control Shift Escape. That should open up Task Manager and just close down Java TM Platform Binary and Task. And then you can try again. And as you can see, it works. So what you're going to do is you're going to go over to your main mods folder and click Control A and bring all those folders. Actually, don't bring them over. Right click and click copy. Go ahead over here and click paste. And as you can see, we now have all of our mods over there. So you're gonna go ahead and close out of that and go back in this folder. Now, what you're going to need to do is you can either click the start or the server. What the server is going to do is it's just going to launch a straight up server application, but it's not going to open up the CMD. What I recommend doing is just clicking start, which is going to open up the CMD, which shows you what everything's going on, and you'll also be able to set operator permissions. So go ahead and double click on one of those, and it should open this up. Now, what you're going to do is not touch anything, don't type anything in here, because it's loading the server. If it freezes like this, all you gotta do is click down here at the bottom, and press enter, and it should continue. But only do that if it freezes. Basically what this is doing is it is initializing all of the mods and getting ready to start the server. Alright, and after a little bit it should open up this white tab called Minecraft Server. Just go ahead and bring that over here. Now, whenever that pops up, you are not yet done. Because as you can see, it says preparing spawn area. Now, this is not going to get to 100%, so do not freak out. It's going to load all the way through, it's going to show you different percentages, and it's going to get to 98%, and then it should say done. This normally doesn't take that long. And as you can see, it went up to 99%, and then it said done 30 seconds. For help, type help. Basically, your server's up and running. So if you have two monitors, you can go ahead and put them on the other side. And you can go ahead and close out of that folder. We don't need it anymore. If you do not have two folders, just go ahead and minimize them. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead, launch CurseForge, and launch your mod pack. All right, and as you can see, we have it launched up. So what you're going to need to do is go to multiplayer and go ahead and click on add server. You can name it whatever you want. Now, if you're setting up the server on a different computer, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to put in that computer's IPv4 address, which is very easy to find. You can go ahead and search on the internet, what is my IPv4, or you can look it up in the command prompt. Now, this is not your IP address that people think you can get hacked on. This is your public IP. Everybody can see it. Everybody has one. Your IPv4 is your public IP. Your IPv6 is the one that you do not want to give out, because that is your computer's IP address. Now, if you're launching it on your same computer, like I am, in the server address, you're just going to go ahead and put local host. And go ahead and click done. And if it works, as you can see, it should say Minecraft server, better Minecraft, fabric, whatever your mod pack's name is, and it should have an icon. All you're going to need to do now is click on it and click join server. And as you can see, we are in our server. Now, this is recommended for people who don't have very many friends, like you can just play with one or two people. Before you invite any of your friends, though, go ahead and try and load some of the chunks around spawn. It's going to be a little laggy at first because it's trying to load everything, but afterwards it should be pretty good. And if we go look at our stuff again, you can go ahead and see players, and it should say your name right there. If you want to be set as an operator, go over here, click forward slash OP, and go ahead and put your name exactly how it is, including capitals. So mine is Ace the Wolf 1, 
press enter and it should say server thread info made ace the wolf a server operator you can go ahead and minimize those again and it should say right here in chat made ace the wolf server operator now as you can tell you're not really going to get too many achievements on this because it's a server so if you want to go ahead and go into creative just click forward slash game mode and you should be able to click creative right here press enter and just like that you are in creative mode and something really cool, if you are loading the server on a separate computer, because your computer would not be doing any of the loading the server would, you can go ahead and enable shaders. This is the Zeus Renewed Shader Pack, which runs flawlessly. Like, look at it. It's so beautiful. Especially since your computer is not doing all of the rendering. It just looks beautiful, and you can get a smooth anywhere between... Okay, because I'm loading it on my computer, I guess I'm not getting it very well. But you can get anywhere between 50 and 100 FPS with this. Alright, and just so you know, whenever you're loading it in, if you're walking and it teleports you back, don't be alarmed. That's just it having trouble loading. Give it a second, and it should be just fine. Alright, everybody, I hope that you found this tutorial informing, and if you have any issues, please go ahead and comment them down below. All of the download links that we used in this video, including Java 16, which I didn't show y'all how to do, but it's pretty simple, you can look that up, and including Curse Forge and this mod pack will all be in the link down below. If you like this video and it helps you out, please go ahead and subscribe, leave a like down below. Anyway, I'll see y'all later. Peace.